Alright, I think we're good. Hello there, minions! What's going on, Tim Lee Legacy Studio? Trying to get my camera set up here. It's the weekend, I'm chilling out. Uh, I got dogs, squeaky toys, everything going on around here. I apologize. Uh, I want to work on something really, really quickly that's going to include this. This is uh, silicone lubricant. And uh, let me explain why I have silicone lubricant. So these right here are my favorite headphones on planet Earth. These things are incredible. I love them. The quality is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but if I show you a clip from one of my videos, you'll hear weird little rub rubbery, plasticky kind of sounds. Hey there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome back to Legacy Studio. We're back in to another episode of Mist 3 Exile. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments because I have no idea what I'm doing. Just randomly making noise. And I also hear it right now as I'm literally putting these on my head and talking through them. I'm hearing this 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 poppy, rubbery, plasticky kind of sound that keeps doing it. And you can tell it just is, it, 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 it's not supposed to be there. And it's really a shame because these are really incredible headphones. Um, I use big microphones. I, I have a microphone right there that's a beautiful shotgun microphone over here. I got a SM7 right there that's from 1970 that sounds amazing. But the simplicity of just this and the quality because it's so close to my face is just... Is he's perfect. Uh, except all that little popping and stuff that we've just been putting up with in the videos. So I looked it up online because these are the Audio Technica BPHS ones. Uh, I, I was looking this up and I'm going, okay, uh, maybe other people have been dealing with this. And everyone that I've seen said, oh, that will go away over time as you wear them in. And other people said silicone lubricant. And I'm like, okay, actually the silicone lubricant would make sense to me. Uh, prevents wear and repels moisture and hopefully assists with that problem. I think most of the issue is coming from this as it moves left and right, that metal touching the plastic in there. Also possibly if I squeeze the the tongs on the sides of the headphones right here on the right and on the left side of both. Uh, that one especially feels a little squeaky and so I'm wondering if I can do something with that. So we're going to try and put a little bit of that silicone uh, lubricant on here and see if that makes a difference. Now this is, uh, this is vehicle grade so I think I'm going to have a problem. So let's take this into the backyard and see first if I'm going to have a problem. All right, so here's my concern. This is supposed to be like automobile grade. I ordered this off of Amazon. It was the only thing I could find. There were smaller things, but I didn't know how much you could trust them. So I'm going, okay, how how well is this gonna work? So if we put this little 2B thing on here, which would let me really squeak it into those key areas, I'm just curious how bad that could be. That's a pretty big spray that you guys might not be able to see. Let's see. You guys might not be able to see that, but that shoots pretty far across the uh, area. So part of my theory is, what if we put some of this? Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's it is kind of a it's kind of a, an interesting texture. So what if we were to take this stuff and put it like on a washcloth or something, and then take it and maybe with a Q-tip or even a toothpick, and dab it into the areas and see if we could do that instead of just spraying it into the oblivion of hopefully not making a mess and guaranteeing that we will have a mess in our hands. So let's go back inside, see if maybe we can somehow spray some of this onto a cloth and then somehow apply this to the headphones and see if we have any luck with them. Okay, here's the theory. Silicone, Q-tips, piece of cardboard from an old box, and a headset. So I'm gonna start <laughs> by trying not to make a mess and see if we can just shoot since you guys need to hear this isn't it lovely <laughs> okay so I definitely have plenty there far too much and my theory is I'm gonna try and dab it into these areas and see if we can uh, work it into those surfaces. If I can't work it in, 
then what I might do is I might actually get like a, a paper clip or a, uh, let me just get one now, toothpick, and see if we can dab it in. I'm thinking how I'm looking at this, I should probably start with toothpicks. So I'm just going to try and grab a little bit of this and just dab it in and see if I can force it into here. And I guess I'll just clean it up after the fact and see if that works. Um, let me put it in on the back side here too and hope I'm getting a lot more in the back than in the front. And of course it'll probably all smoosh out once I rotate it, but ooh, that's too much, that's too much. And my real concern is <clears throat> like along here on the headphones. I'm hoping that this helps them. And I'm just gonna scrub it in there as best I can. There's a great big gaping hole in this thing too, which is not in, very exciting to me because I don't want that to get into the electronics of the headset. I mean, like I said, I use these every single day for my YouTube videos. And yes, I could use my nice microphones, but these are this is actually a really nice microphone. And I, I like the simplicity of it and I don't want to lose out on it because I'm a broadcaster. I, I use headphones like this all the time at work. You know, play-by-play -play stuff and everything that I do. Th these are this kind of headset is fantastic. So I don't want to lose out on this. Okay, they're not clean. They're they're really juicy and squirty right now. But just figured putting them on. They're not, they're not making the same noise. No, they're not making the same noise at all. Hmm. Well, that gives me a little bit of hope. That'd be really great if that actually worked. Huh. Okay, cautiously optimistic here. It seems to have worked, at least as I move my head around. I'm not hearing clunking noises, so rubber against rubber, plastic against plastic seems to not be a concern. So now let's get back into the office, plug this into my computer, get my screen capture software on, and uh, see about how it does. So we'll uh, get back in there. Okay, so I guess at this point in time, all I can do now is try to wiggle my ears around, wiggle my face around, touch my headset here, and just kind of wiggle it and just try to force things to happen. But really what this is going to come down to me just sitting here and talking for a few minutes because uh, as you can see in the other video that I'll post into this video of the gaming stuff that I've been doing for a while now using this headset, it happens... But on its own, without a problem, without even doing it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Welcome to the Legacy Studio. My name is Tim Lee. It's time to play another episode of Abduction. And uh, excited to get into this. Of course, as you guys already know, doing anything. Uh, right now, as I'm listening and feeling the headphones on my ears, I'm really not hearing any popping or anything. Let me kind of grab this cable and move things around here, like a girl playing with my hair and twirling and such. Um, the... the I can't hear the same things I was hearing before, so I'm a little excited about this. Now, um, just so you know how I have all this set up here, if you're ever thinking about doing a setup like this for yourself, you saw in the video that I plugged my uh, microphone and my headphones into a Focusrite 2i2. You can use any um, any system that you want to use uh, that would be a audio capture card um, uh, or just what they would call an input-output audio device. Uh, and then I have this going into OBS. Um, 
Um, I have my Lumix G7 plugged in through an HDMI capture cable going in through a Camlink HDMI capture card. That's going into my computer, and all that's going into Streamlabs OBS, where I'm capturing video and audio through the software, and that's how a lot of gamers like to do this. Now, like I said, um, I usually use this microphone, which is my Shure SM7, uh, which is original. Uh, this has been at a radio station for probably 30 years plus. Uh, this These microphones were made back in the 1970s. Uh, I restored this. I cleaned this and restored it. I uh, gave it new life. It was completely filthy from years and years of use. It sounds absolutely incredible. I also have a shotgun microphone over top. I'm just talking right now just to try and make these things do something and so far they're not doing anything uh, that I can hear anyway. Um, I have a shotgun microphone that I love as well though it captures a little bit more of the room. Uh, it has also worked very well for a lot of my game plays but like I said the simplicity of just putting on a pair of headphones since you're going to be putting on a pair of headphones anyway to play your games because you don't want microphone input and game input to mix together and then you get a uh, you get a um, what's the word I'm looking for a feedback loop. Um, it would make sense that why not just have the microphone hooked up and if you're okay with that being part of your image, which I really don't mind, I've been a broadcaster for many, many years, so the idea of looking like I'm doing play-by-plays in a sports kind of a situation actually doesn't bother me in the slightest. And so this is a good fit for me. It works really well. Um, and as you can hear, the audio could not be more crisp because this microphone, which is very directional, is only going to pick up input where it's hearing it from. It's not directly in front of my mouth, so it's not getting pops and things like that. Plosives is what we call it in the in the business. And, uh, and it's close enough where it's picking up that really crisp audio and it's keeping all the noises around me out. So if my dogs are barking or things like that, they are much calmer, much much less invasive than they would usually be on this microphone or my shotgun microphone or other options like that. Okay, we're going to assume that this test was successful at this point in time because I'm already not Excuse me, that would be a burp. I, I'm, I either burp or hiccup in every single episode of anything I've ever made. But we're going to consider this to be a win because I'm not hearing the sounds that I usually hear. So it would seem that silicone lubricant actually does the job. And I've cleaned it up so you can't even really tell it's there, I hope. And uh, and you know what? I got a whole can of it made for putting into vehicles. So um, if it does start to get a little quirky again, just spritz some more in and re-lube it. And so I, I, I'm excited about this because I got a crazy deal for these and I just wanted it to last. I want this to last for a long time. Uh, to have an expensive pair of headphones is to hear really, 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 really good audio quality and get really good microphone quality. Gamer microphones and headsets will probably not get the same quality that this does. This is made for broadcasters. This is prosumer level, and uh, and and I love it. So now, if you're looking for more bass, if you're looking for more crazy, uh, if you're looking for that uh, gamer edge looking kind of feeling, well, then go get yourself a gamer's headset. But um, if you're looking for broadcaster quality, uh, if you want to use this in very loud environments, uh, especially in sports, if you are a broadcaster like I am, uh, or things like that, this thing is the bomb. But you might have to make a couple little alterations to it, like lubri lubricant it to make sure that it doesn't make the squeaks. So that's going to do it. Keep it crispy, my friends. First Tim 412. We'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. Uh, below. Consider subscribing. And uh, don't forget, if you want to see more videos, early access videos of all the content that I make, then please do me a humongous favor uh, and hit that join button. You can join at any tier that we have. Uh, we have our, we call our channel members historians, okay, because it's all spanned from the gamer side of things, but I make all kinds of content on here. So if you're a gamer, uh, if you're a musician, if you're a techie, uh, whatever the case may be, this channel involves everybody and everything, and I enjoy sharing it. So consider joining. Uh, link is uh, that join button down below. And, uh, you know, just thank you so much for being a part of my family here on the channel and supporting the cause. I'll see you next time right here. And thank you so much for checking this out. I hope it helps you if you're dealing with the same issue that I was. A little bit of lubricant goes a long way. Silicone lubricant. That way you don't mess up the plastics in your systems. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Ah, I think we're good. Hello, there, minion. Hey, there, minion. Ah, I think we're good. Hello, there, minion. Hey, there, minion. Ah, I think we're good. Hello, there, minion. Hey,